YouTube. This is your girl Juanita. Come to you guys with another video. Okay, guys, I'm gonna fix. I'm doing a cooking vlog again today for you guys. And I hope all is well with everyone. I hope everyone is finding happiness, joy, love, and peace in their lives. Okay, as you watched my previous video before this one, um, I was talking about my aunt's funeral today. My aunt died two weeks ago. And her funeral was today, so I've been not feeling like myself today, and I broke down real bad earlier. So me, I decided to throw some comfort food together. So what 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 better way to help you grieve than to eat you, get you some comfort food? So me, for my comfort food, I'm just putting some stuff together, guys. Now this is what I'm gonna cook for my comfort food. I'm making some spaghetti. Okay, you got spaghetti sauce right here, guys. And I'm making some corn. So I'm, I'm making two cans of corn. I'm making some corn. I'm making some spaghetti and ground beef. Okay, guys, the ground beef is already done in this bowl right here. They go my ground beef. I already cooked the ground beef. And also, I made another pan of cornbread. I got that in the oven already. My cornbread. So I'm making some cornbread, spaghetti. I'm making cornbread, spaghetti, ground beef. Fried pork chops and some fried chicken and spaghetti ground beef. Okay, here go the pork chops in the bowl right here, guys, that I'm gonna cook. And then here go the pack of chicken right here. So I'm gonna make some chicken as well. So I'm about to get started for you guys. So right now I have the water on for my spaghetti. I have the pot here for the corn. I'm gonna put the uh, I got a pot here for the corn. I got the oil. I'm getting ready for the uh, fried pork chops. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, cut this off for a minute. I got the oil in the pan for the fried for the pork chop, and then um, I got the cut up onions for my spaghetti. I already showed you guys the um, um, pork chop, so and I got different seasons. I got two different kinds of spaghetti, so I got this kind of spaghetti and this kind of spaghetti. So. I'm gonna make myself some comfort dinner, you know, um, to help me deal with my grief. So, anyway, so what, what I'm gonna do first, guys, for you is to put the corn on first. I'm gonna put the corn on first in this pot right here. We got the stove on up, up higher. Okay, I'm gonna put the corn on. I got two cans of corn, guys, I'm gonna put in the pot for you guys. Okay, I'm pouring the corn in the pot. Okay. And I'm going to season my corn with different things because corn got to taste delicious. I don't have no butter right now. I ran out of butter. You know, I love butter on my corn, but I don't have butter right now, so I'm going to season it it's real good so it can give a, still have a great flavor to it. And it can still, it's still going to taste real good. So what I'm going to do right here, guys, I'm going to put a little... Lemon season in my corn. Lemon pepper in my corn. I'm going to put a little garlic powder in my corn. I'm going to put a little onion seasoning in my corn. Just trying to give it a good flavor. And I'm going to put a little parsley in there. I'm going to put a little parsley in there. And then I'm going to put some little red pepper in there. And this is what I'm seasoning my corn with. Everybody, like I said, everybody puts their food different, but this is the one I'm doing my food, guys. Okay, so now I've done that, done with that, got the corn on. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the spaghetti on for you guys. This is the kind of spaghetti I'm going to cook, guys, for you guys. And here go the pot, the spaghetti is going in. Okay, so now I'm opening up the spaghetti. I'm gonna put the spaghetti on and then I'm gonna season the spaghetti real good. Okay, I already got the water on. Okay, I'm taking the top off the pot. Put the spaghetti on, guys. Okay. Put the spaghetti on. Okay, breaking the spaghetti up, put it in the pot. So I'm making some have spaghetti and ground beef. That's what I'm going to have. I like spaghetti ground beef or spaghetti and Italian sausages mixed together. But sometimes I, I, I eat the spaghetti without the ground beef and Italian sausages. 
But, you know, um, I want to get in ground beef today. And like I said, this is the way I'm comfortable with my brief. It's sticking some comfort for me. Okay. Put a little more spaghetti in there and that's it. Because I am feeding three people. I'm feeding myself and my two daughters. So, try to make sure it's enough for everybody. Okay, so I'm done with the spaghetti. Putting the spaghetti on. Now, I'm going to season the spaghetti, guys. First, I'm going to season the spaghetti with the onions. I'm going to put some bell pepper in here, but I think I ran out of bell peppers in my spaghetti. I put the onions in there, and then I'm going to season it with some onion powder, garlic powder, um, some lemon pepper. Some little a little parsley, a little red pepper. <laughs> okay, and I want some salt on my spaghetti. No, not really. That's it. That's enough season for my spaghetti right there, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna season my pork chops for you guys. I got a pork chop right in the bowl. I'm gonna season my pork chop with some. Lemon pepper. And everybody do their meat different as well, guys. I season both sides of my meat. Some people like both sides season, some people don't. You know, everybody got their own way of cooking, their own style, their own taste, their own like. You know, everybody don't cook the same. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm putting a little onion powder on my um, pork chops. Okay, did I put a little garlic powder on there? Yeah. Now I gotta put a little garlic powder on there. I think I did. Uh, a little more. Okay, and then I'm gonna put little peppers on there and season this out. Okay, then I'm gonna flip. This is how I season my pork chops, and I'm gonna slip, slip the pork chops. I'm gonna turn it over so I can season it the other side. I'm gonna repeat the same seasoning. Season salt, lemon pepper, garlic powder. Onion seasoning. And that's it. That's something. Okay, that's what I'm putting my this is my pork chops with. So now I'm gonna cut the stove on. Well the stove's still on on on, on, the, on the pork chops. And I'm going to flour my pork chops up real good and put it into skillet. I'm gonna batter it up with the flour. Then I'm gonna put the pork chops in the skillet. Okay, and let it start cooking and frying, you know. Okay. Once again, like I said, I love you guys. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your prayers during this time in my life. And I thank you for being there for me. You know, I really appreciate it. I don't take nobody for granted. I don't take nobody love for granted. So I appreciate you guys more than you know. Okay. Uh, Okay, so now I put both pork chops in there. Now I'm gonna put the top on the pan so I can let the pork chops cook. Then I'm also gonna put the top on the pan to let the spaghetti cook, guys. And I got the corn on too as well. I got flour on my hands, so I'm gonna wash the flour off. I got the cornbread in the oven. Like I said, I wanted to just throw some comfort food together um, to eat on today. So. I got the skin, the jar of spaghetti sauce right here that I'm gonna put on my spaghetti. Even though so even though they both they be already seasoned, I still like to add my own season on my spaghetti guys. And um that's about it. So yeah, so I got the pork chops on, the corn on, the spaghetti on, I got the ground beef in the bowl already done. I'm gonna mix it in the spaghetti when that get done. And I gotta get all my spoons out. I got the spoons, okay. All the spoons I use for my foil, I gotta get it out the drawer. Okay. Spoon for the spaghetti. Spoon for the spaghetti. And a spoon for the corn. 
spoon for the corn. I gotta get the fork out for the pork chops. Okay, fork for the pork chops. Okay. Did that. So while I'm waiting on my food to start, you know, cooking and, and stuff and getting done, I'm gonna put up uh, this season, put up this season, I'm gonna put these seasons back in the cabinet. Cause I, you know, ain't no need to just leave them out. So, you know, clean up the cabinet myself, put them back in the cabinets. All right, okay. Now I'm gonna put the spaghetti back in there too, cause I'm not gonna use this kind of spaghetti. So I'm gonna put these back. Oh, I got them out of here. Look at me. I'm going to put these back up here. Okay. So, now, I'm going to put this spaghetti up. Still some more left in this box right here. So, like I said, I hope everybody is doing fine today. I hope everybody having a great weekend. I hope everybody's happy. I hope all is well with everyone. Um, so, I decided to do a cooking vlog for the guys to fix me some comfort food. You know, um, for me having death in my family, you know, to help me through my grieving period. Um, so I want to do that. So anyway, I'm gonna put this spaghetti back up in the cabinet. And I hope everybody's having a great weekend, seriously. I hope everybody's having a great weekend because uh, everybody deserves to be happy, you know. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing fine. Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I guess, let you guys see the cook, cook, cook some of the cookies on. Okay, this corn is coming along, so I'm stirring up this corn. And I'm going to stir up this spaghetti. I'm going to get soft. That's the spaghetti. And then pork chops. Oh, okay. It's coming along, guys. Let me go about the cornbread. Oh, the cornbread is done. I gotta let you guys see my cornbread again. It's done, guys. It is absolutely done. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Gotta let you see my cornbread. Gotta let you see my cornbread. <laughs> okay, it's cornbread. I'm letting it get a little more brown. I like my cornbread real brown. So I'm putting it back in the oven so I'm getting more brown. Okay, I'm putting it back in the oven. Okay, so this right here going last. I'm doing my pork chops first, and then I'm gonna wash the chicken. I'm gonna open up the pack of chicken, wash it out real good, season down real good, buy a little flour, and put it in the pan and let it fry the chicken. But it's gonna go last. Um, it's gonna last. Um, okay, I got the corn on, spaghetti on, ground beef on, corn right in the oven, the ground beef right here. All right. So anyway, guys, like I said, I hope everything is going fine for everyone. And once again, those of you out here, the YouTubers, um, all the YouTube fans that's out here, um, if you have lost a loved one, a friend, or, you know, just anybody in your life that you love and that you cherish, that, that you're close to, and, you know, um, I offer my heartfelt condolences to you guys, your prayers, I mean, my prayers, my love to you guys. Um, God is a healer. God is a comforter. He's going to comfort us all through it. He's going to heal us all through it. And time heals our wound. We're going to get through it. With the help of the Lord, we're going to get through it. I know it's a painful experience. It's a, you know, it's painful. But with the help of the Lord, we're going to get through this too shall pass. Um, it's not easy losing someone you love. Um, it's a painful experience to even go through. So, I just hope everybody is doing fine, you know, and everybody is coping with the loss and dealing with the loss like me. I'm coping and trying to deal with my loss of my aunt, um, you know, but what got to me today was, I know today was, it got real for me today. I know today they was going, she was going down in the ground. And that what hit me more than anything. It hit me hard early because I knew, I was like, day my auntie going down the ground. The whole entire family on there, like, see her again, hear her voice again, better call her again. You know, it's, it's, it's a hurtful thing. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I'm making me some comfort food, guys. Yes, I am. I love you guys. Uh, okay. 
The corn is coming along, guys. You know, it don't take corn long to get done because corn basically be already done it's just in the can. It's so weird because basically you can heat corn up in the microwave if you want to and season it the way you want to put it in the microwave, pop it in the microwave, but corn basically already done. It's just in the can. A lot of them vegetables already done just in the can. Like the string beans, the mixed vegetables, the corn. You know, they got potatoes in the thing on can. They got greens in the can. They got all kinds of vegetables in the can. That's basically already done. All you got to do is heat it up. So, you know, it's easy. All you got to do is heat it up. So what I'm about to do, guys, now is check on my food. I'm going to check on my food. Let's check on the skin. Let me just check this. They're not cooking enough. I hope it ain't too low. Yes, too low. The pad is too low. And then turn it up small so it can cook, cook. Okay, the corn is done. I'm turning it off. The corn is basically done. I'm going to turn the out from the spaghetti. Let the spaghetti cook. And I'm going to check on the pork chops. Oh, this ain't too low. Oh, dang, it's super low. Dang. Low, low. Now just cut it up next. Stop cooking it when it's supposed to be. Okay, yeah, I had to add down too low on, on the food. So I just cut it down. So the corn is done. The, the, I mean, the cornbread is done. So I just wanted to get brown. I like my cornbread real brown, you know. So, but it's done. So now the only thing I right now to get done is the spaghetti and the pork chops. So guys, what I'm going to do, once again, once everything get done, I'm going to come back to you guys so you guys plate up. I plate my food up for you guys like I always do. And um, show you how my food look. So I will do a mukbang for you guys today. Sit down and chit chat and eat and pig out. But I already did a story time for you guys earlier um, on YouTube. So anyway, once everything get done and I... I will be back with you, with you guys in a minute. Love you. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Juanita back uh, with you guys. Okay guys, all the food is done. Officially done. Now I'm going to show you guys how the food look. Okay? This is how my pork chops look. And I'm going to take you guys over there and let you look in the pot. This is how Hope you guys can see. This is how the spaghetti look, guys. Yes, that's the part of spaghetti. This is how the corn look, guys. And of course, here go my famous cornbread. This is how the cornbread look. Okay, I wanted to show you guys all of my delicious dinner. Comfort dinner. I call it the comfort dinner. Anyway, so now I'm gonna plate the food up, put the food on my plate. And I'm gonna do a go. I changed my mind. I'm gonna do a mukbang for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna do a mukbang because I love you guys. And you guys are my fans and my supporters, so I can do a mukbang and chit chat with you guys for a few minutes, right? Uh, for, for, being, for being there, support me and support my channel and stuff. Okay, I'm cutting, I'm cutting the cornbread, guys. Okay, so I'm cut, I cut the cornbread up. Okay, so now I'm gonna fix me my plate. I'm gonna fix me a pork chop. I'm gonna fix me some corn. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, fix me some corn. Show you guys how to play look when I get done. But I'm gonna do a mukbang for you guys too. So. Sit here and chit chat and talk to you guys while I'm pigging it. Now I'm going to put some spaghetti on here. I get to put everything on the plate. I'm going to show you guys how it look. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to the spaghetti and the ground beef. I don't know what meat all that. I think I was maybe saying put a little bit too much food on here. Okay, I'm gonna put, put both pork chops on here. Why not? I'm not gonna eat it all, but then again, you never know. <laughs> I might eat it all. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put the other pork chop on the plate. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this little sauce right here for cornbread, guys. I'm gonna use this for the cornbread. Giant piece of cornbread. I can get it. I mean, I'm eating it all right. Okay, that's cornbread. Ooh, that's a big giant piece of cornbread. 
I know if I want them that big. <laughs> but I'm put on the plate anyways. Okay? I'm putting it on the plate anyways, guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna crumb it up. Oh well. Here come my cornbread, guys. Okay? It is just Miss Cornbread, so you know everybody knows Miss Cornbread is sweet cornbread. Okay, guys. Here got my food. Here got my plate of food. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring the camera here so you guys can see it. See my plate of food. Okay. Bring the camera over here. Okay, here go my plate of food, guys. Hope you guys can see it. That's a cornbread right there, wait a minute. There go my spaghetti, my corn, and my spaghetti ground beef corn, and my pork chops. Okay, guys, so I'll be back with you in a second. I'm going to do a mukbang and chit chat with you guys. All right, see you in a minute. Bye. Hi, guys. Okay, it's your girl, Ronnie. I'm back, guys. So all my food is officially done. Like I told you guys, I fit some ground beef and, sp ground beef and spaghetti, fried pork chops, I fit some corn and some corn bread. This is my comfort food, guys, because I've been grieving today because it is my aunt's funeral. So I'm gonna sit here and eat and chit chat with you guys for a few minutes. Down here go my plate. They go the pork chops. They go the ooh. I want the food to waste out. They go the spaghetti and ground beef, and they go the corn. And this is my piece of cornbread. It's different from cornbread, so it's sweet cornbread. And I got me a big cup of water. You know, sometimes I eat soda with my food, but. This time I want water. Okay, so I'm gonna eat and talk to you guys. So, oh, let me taste this spaghetti. Mm, mm, mm. This food tastes fat. You ever heard somebody say, this food tastes so good, make you wanna slap somebody? <laughs> Every time I tell my kids that, they be like, oh, mama, not me. And they'll run for me. <laughs> Okay, here go to pork chop. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Piece of cornbread. Oh, this food tastes so good, make gonna stop somebody, guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is delicious. Anyway, I just had to do a mukbang too, to talk to you guys and let everybody know to. Love on your loved ones, love on your family members, love on your, just love on the people that is in your life. Period. Love on them because life is too short. Life is short. So love on your family members, appreciate them, be there for them. The people that's in your, that's your family, the people that's supposed to be family to you, your friend, you know, just love on the ones that's in your life. Don't take them for granted. Don't take their love for granted. Don't act funny, wishy-washy, don't switch up on the people that you say you love. Be there for them wholeheartedly, 100%. Wholeheartedly, 100%. Because when you love somebody, you be there no matter what. You be there through the good times, the bad times, the ups, the downs. Whatever they go through in their life, you are there. That's what unconditional love is all about. Being there no matter what. When you, not go, when you love somebody, you're not going to forget to be there. And you're gonna be there. So love on the ones that's in your life and treat them right. Don't be doing each other wrong and stuff. You know, so I appreciate the ones that God got in your life right now. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm trying to uh see how I'm gonna do this pork chop right here. So I think I'm gonna give me a fork. I mean, a knife is poor chop. Yeah, so appreciate the one in your life. Don't be taking people, don't be taking people for granted and stuff. And um, love on each other, pray for each other, be there for each other, respect each other. Treat each other right. Because you don't know. When your time is going to come, you're not going to be in the earth, no, you're not going to be in the world no more. So, you got to treat each other right while you got each other. Because tomorrow is not promised to nobody. So, treat 
for each other, right? Um, this food is fat. <laughs> this food is fat, guys. Tastes delicious. Mmm, you know, because it's kind of hot. But I need some comfort food. I really did. I need some comfort food for today. Because like I said, I had death from my family. I need some comfort food. I've been grieving off in the last two weeks. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, follow my channel. Comment, subscribe, like, share. Pass a oh, knife. Nice. About a night. There, for the notification button. This food is a biz num, y'all. Thank you, girl. This food is fat. Come to these pork chops. Because I don't feel like breaking them with my hand. Okay, so. Treat each other right. Be there for each other wholeheartedly. Don't have be there for each other. You know, when you love somebody, you there, one hundred percent, wholeheartedly. You know, and you be there for people wholeheartedly because you don't know when you're gonna need somebody to be there for you. So that's why you be there for people that you say you love. And you be there for somebody that you say you love through everything they go through in life. That's love. That's unconditional love. That's love. That's real love. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. This food is good, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's so delicious. Mm -mm. I don't know for me, y'all, but need some of it. Cause I might get full before the plate is it before all the food is gone. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. This food is the best num, guys. The best for the chicken. Make you want to snizzle. <laughs> it's good. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend. I got so many videos to catch up on because I've been watching videos, but because I had death in my family and, uh, you know, other things been going on as far as, you know, family-wise, trying to get the phone together and trying to get the money for the phone and stuff and so many other things going on. It's like, I ain't watching my favorite YouTubers the way I want to. But I promise you guys, I will catch up on all y'all videos. I have been watching some of y'all, some of the videos, but not every, all of them. Before my auntie died, I was watching all of them, but I was not missing that one video of my favorite YouTubers. But it's like after my auntie, that my auntie died two weeks ago, it's like kind of threw everything off for me, you know. But. I am gonna start back watching my favorite YouTubers all the time. I'm gonna be watching y'all video. Y'all video, y'all video, y'all videos be funny, and hilarious, especially them pranks. I love them pranks. Mm hmm I love them pranks. Them pranks be videos be funny. Mm mm mm. Start next my guy. I promise I'm gonna be making, I'm be making um, recipe meals for you guys. I'm be making rest, rest, recipe meals. Mmm, mm, this is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, I'll be making different recipe meals for you guys. Um, I'm gonna go to the store. Get all the ingredients I need. 
for my recipe meal and start making recipe meal. I'm hoping this virus is going to hit the end. Because right about now, I'm tired of it. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm tired of it. And I don't want to be stuck in the house. 24-7. I might still go out and go to the store and stuff, but mm-mm. Okay. I'm gonna chit chat you guys for a minute. Doing this. Um cooking, I want to do this uh mug uh Cooking vlog and, and, and mukbang and chit chat with you guys for a minute. Like I said, don't forget to love on each other, pray for each other, be there for each other, treat each other right. Because tomorrow's not promised to nobody. You don't know how long you got here on the earth. I pray hard. I hope everybody got a long life here on the earth. But you know, you don't know how long you got here. So be kind to one another, be good to one another, love on each other, be there for each other, pray for each other. Treat each other right. Do not mistreat each other. Do not treat each other wrong. Do not switch up on each other. Do not forget to be there. Do not take each other for granted. Do not take each other's love for granted. Appreciate the people you got in your life. Appreciate the people you got in your life. You know, life is too short not to. So appreciate, appreciate the people that's in your life. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. I wanted to talk to you guys for a few minutes. Um, I'm finished eating my food, but I'm finna get off of here. Comment, subscribe, like, share, hit the post notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Love you guys. Peace.